found out that in fact I had hepatitis C. So at the age of 22, I was given a death sentence for committing no crimes. The blood is on the government's hands, historically or not. This has gone through four decades and 500 people at least have died during the beginning of this inquiry. You know, I'm one of those statistics. I've been left with liver cirrhosis. I've got kidney uh, problems and lots of, lots of other things. So every time I go for a liver scan, which is twice a year, I'm, you've got that mindset of, is the cancer there yet? Am I, will I see the Christmas? Our daughter got married in October and, and I cried when she walked down the aisle and as all brides, mums do, but you know, I cried because I was there to see it. And then I got upset. Oh, but I get upset now. That there's so many people who have not had that opportunity that was stolen from them. Bad luck, as John Major said. No, it's not bad luck, it's disgusting. And I really, I implore them to do the right thing. Compensation must be paid, and it must be paid to everybody. We've been murdered. It's like mass murder. It's, it must never happen again. You know, lessons have got to be learned, and they must ensure that a tragedy like this must never happen again, and certainly last over four decades. I don't want anyone to go through what I went through at the beginning with just closing my eyes and seeing a coffin with my name on it.